Hey guys and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to flip an image. So let's create a new Java project and I call this project image flipping. Okay, now let's create a new package and I'll call this package EMG. And inside of this package I'm going to create a new class and this class will be called image flipping as well so image flipping okay now I need to import buffered image file IO exception and image input output and now let's create our method for image flipping so as you know images can be flipped vertically and horizontally and we'll do both so public static and will be void and let's call it flip and the first parameter of this flip method will be the input file so this will be an original image so file input the second parameter will be the output file or the flipped image file output and the last parameter will be a uh, direction of flipping so uh, we can tell the method to flip our image horizontally or vertically it will be integer direction okay now we need to write a try and catch block in order to catch IO exception and if we catch the exception we want to just print stack trace now inside of our try block we need to create a buffered image from this input file so buffered image and let's call it image we'll get this image by reading so image io read and we'll read the input file okay now we need the width and height of this image so integer width is image dot get width integer height is image get height and let's create a new buffered image that will represent the flipped image so buffered image and let's call it flipped it will be a new buffered image with the width of the original image with the height of the original height and the type will be buffered image dot type integer rgb okay now we'll need the nested for loops why because uh, we are dealing with the rectangle why rectangle well every image is a rectangle it has a width and height and we need to read uh, every pixel starting with the upper left and going to the right then down the y-axis and so on so for integer y and y will represent the y-axis so integer y is 0 y is lesser than the height of the image and y will increment each time by one in every iteration so now inside of this loop we'll need another for loop and this time will be integer x that is going to represent the x-axis and it will be zero x will be lesser than the width of the image and x will increment each time this for loop goes now we need a switch statement in order to check uh, what the direction is but before that well, let's create a two final uh, fields or two final properties so public static and this will be final integer and let's call it flip vertical 
and the value of flip vertical will be let's say one and just copy this paste it and just change vertical to horizontal and give it the value of like minus one because this is opposite of this one here okay so we have now our final properties flip vertical and flip horizontal flip vertical is one flip horizontal is minus one now instead of our for nested for loop let's create a switch statement and we are going to check the direction of flipping and in case the direction is flip horizontal we are going to set the uh, uh, pixels of the flipped image in a totally opposite uh, place than we than the one we are reading from so we are going to call the flipped buffered image and then the method is set rgb and this is the as you can see the x coordinate the y coordinate and the rgb value so the x coordinate for setting this on flipped image will be uh, in case of horizontal will be width minus one minus x and the y position is going to be the y position and we are going to read the pixels from the original image so image dot get rgb from the position of x and y okay and after this let's just write break okay now this is in case of flip horizontal but if we want to flip it vertical so case flip vertical uh, we'll just call again flip dot set rgb but this time we are going to place it on the x axis here on location of x and the location of y will be height minus one and then minus y and then again we need to read the uh, RGB from the original image so let's paste it here and then again break okay now after these four loops are ended we need to call the image IO write method and we are going to write the flipped image the format is JPEG and the last parameter is the output file that we're going to write to. So now we need a new class and let's call this class test and this will class will have the main method and let's import here java.io.file and we need a file from the original image so file input is a new file now we need a location of this original image here I have the this java.jpg image and I'll need a location I can copy it from the properties and I'm going to paste it here so java.jpg and now I need the file output output file so let's place it also on the desktop but let, let's call it flipped.jpg and let's call the image 
flipping dot flip input file output file and the direction will be image flipping dot let's flip it uh, let's flip it horizontal this time okay now this is the original file okay now after this is finished we are going to write something on the console like system out print line and image flipped let's run this okay and we have a message image flipped and here we have a flipped image on our desktop so this is horizontally flipped image so this is the original image and this is the flipped image so original flipped okay now let's say we want to hor vertically uh, flip this image so vertical and let's change this to like something like V flipped and run it again so run as Java application and image flipped and there's our vertically flipped image so this is the original this is the horizontally flipped image and this is the vertically flipped image okay so that's it guys this is all for now and in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to rotate an images by 180 degrees and by 90 degrees both left and right so bye for now